So now for the really big part with the Power BI. When we go into the Power BI, we're going to talk about quite a lot of stuff, the data tables, the dashboards, a little bit with the interactions. But basically, inside the Power BI, there are three areas. There's the report view, which is those pretty interactive charts. It's the end result that we want to get. There's the data view. Um, this kind of looks like Excel when you, when you look at it. It's all the project information that gets extracted. Uh, and then the model view, that connects the disconnected tables and columns to each other. So you have to build those relationships. And we'll talk about this. And don't worry, it might seem a little bit scary, but there's pre-made templates for you. So uh, we're also going to kind of talk about like why why to use this as we, we go through it. So this is, this is kind of our overview. These are the areas we're, we're going to focus on. Um, so we're going to make sure that we cover integrating it with ACC. Uh, we're going to talk about the data source to make sure you connect your project to the actual template. We're going to review the data that you get from the extraction. We're going to automate the reporting of it. Uh, and I'll give you some tips for using the templates versus starting from scratch. So when it comes to Power BI, uh, there are those integrated partner cards, right? So you would customize the view, add the partner card, search for Power BI. This is what it'll look like inside of your dashboard. So we're in Insight, and it looks like this. It lets you do a deeper dive into your data. So in this case, this is forms instead of an RFI example. Um, but this lets you dig a bit further into forms on your project than just the forms cards uh, that come standard. Great for visualization. It's interactive. You can click on it and uh, kind of drill into that data. And you know, if you click on the 7% of forms that have, uh, is that someone's the photo, right? Yeah. Photos. Seven percent have photos. If I click on that, it's going to highlight in here which are the seven percent. Um, so it really, kind of helps you analyze that data itself, and it's customizable. The data can be set up to be automatically extracted to update itself, and then you can publish links from the uh, web app to share to other team members, and that can be automated. So this here, right, the template lives in Power BI. The data is coming from Autodesk Construction Cloud. You can automate the extraction of the data, automate that dashboard being updated with the new data, and then refreshing itself right here in your uh, Insight card. This um, editing the data and anything that I show you, if you edit the data, if you click on it, if you interact on it, it only affects the report or what you're seeing in the report, not the project. It's entirely disconnected. So if I were to click on these 7%, in here, it's not like I have like a delete button, but if I did have a delete button, it would just remove that from the report, not from the project. So it still exists, it's still there. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. That's part of what makes it so much fun because you can click on everything and you're not harming anything. Okay, so Power BI uh, templates are pre-made for you from Autodesk to start with. In your insight area, whether you're running your project or your account, it's not going to matter. Insight, there's going to be a data connector option. You even have from a project the option to go to the executive overview. When you do, you still have the data connector. It's going to take you to the same place. Then in the upper right, it'll say Power BI templates. Um, I actually have that open right here just so you could see. Uh, there's the Power BI templates. So when you go into the data extractor, click on Power BI templates, that's where we're at. And I understand how to use this. Okay. Oh, there's uh, the Power uh, BI template gallery. This is um, pretty impressive. So here's your submittals dashboard, just as where I took the screenshot. It was the first thing up there. But what I want you to notice is these are updated uh, in June. There are some in here that were updated as of September 14th, so essentially a week ago. So keep an eye on that. Even if you're using one and you're pretty happy with it, see if there's new ones or if there's an update to the one that you, you're using to make it better. Now, if you want the automatic data, you will need to use the contact, uh, oh my goodness, the connector template. <laughs> that uses the data connector within Autodesk from Power BI. If you use the CSV template, it is a stag stagnant snapshot. So it downloads the data. And that part has to be done manually. You've got to refresh it manually uh, and then refresh the link. Uh, but then the link itself on Insight will update automatically. Uh, but you just have to refresh the data through that process. To set this up, what you're going to do is you're going to download that template. 
right? So this is, we're going to start and get that data source. So even if you're using a template, you'll need to, you'll need to do this. You want to know your hub name exactly or your account name. So um, open that downloaded template. This dialogue is going to pop up right here and it's going to ask you to enter your account or hub name, capital symbol spaces. So for us, capital U period, capital S period space, um, capital C A D. So exactly that. Don't type the project name. Uh, my lesson learned there was our testing project that we run everything through is called Count Center for Education. The F in four is lowercase and I typed it as a capital and it aired out. There are ways to fix it. It's very simple to fix it, uh, but it's not something we're gonna go into. Uh, so just leave, since it's optional, just leave that blank anyway, because then it will ask you to navigate to the project. <laughs> so if you have downloaded a project template, uh, you'll navigate to the project extracts that you have and you will click on it. All the projects in your account, active, archived, will be here. Does not matter if they're archived, does not matter if they are Boom360 or the unified platform, they will be here in this list. If you have not run an extractor for it, so that data extraction is important to run. If you have not run that data extraction, it is not going to connect to anything either. It will still let you choose that project, but then there will be no data. If you've chosen an account level template, then you'll just run your account extraction. And sometimes between this and this popping up, you might need to sign in, but it'll just be a pop-up that says, please sign in and you'll sign in. And it'll be the Autodesk sign-in, uh, typically not the Microsoft sign-in because the Microsoft sign-in would happen before the Power BI would open. So everyone who needs to see the data, data in Power BI, not the ACC card, but in Power BI needs to run a data extraction. And that's just on your uh, insights page. Oh.